magnificent house of worship tonight because my conscience leaves me no other choice. Mm. A time comes when silence is betrayed. But that time has come for us in relation to Vietnam. Mm. Some of us who have already begun to break the silence of the night have found that the calling to speak is sometimes a vocation of agony, but we must speak. Mm. I knew that I could never again raise my voice against the violence of the oppressed in the ghettos without having first spoken clearly to the greatest purveyor of violence in the world today, my own government. Mm -hmm. We are called to speak for the weak, for the voiceless, for the victims of our nation, for those that call those enemies. For no document from human hands can make these humans any less our brothers. This war in Vietnam is, is but a symptom of a far deeper malady within the American spirit. The words of the late John F. Kennedy come back to haunt us. Five years ago, he said, those who make peaceful revolution impossible will make violent revolution inevitable. Increasingly, by choice or by accident, this is the role our nation has taken. I am convinced that if we are to get on to the right side of this world revolution, we as a nation must undergo a radical revolution of values. We must rapidly begin to shift from a thing-oriented society to a, a person-oriented society. Amen. When machines and computers Profit, profit motives and property rights are considered more important than people. Well, then at that point, the giant triplets of racism, materialism, and militarism are then incapable of being conquered. You see, a true revolution of values will soon look uneasily on the glaring contrast of poverty and wealth. And with righteous indignation, it will look across the seas and see individual capitalists of the West investing in huge sums of money in Asia, mm. Africa, and South America, only to take the profits out yeah. with no concern for the social betterment of the countries. Yeah. The Western arrogance, a field that has everything to teach and nothing to learn, well, that's just not just. These are revolutionary times. All over the globe, men are revolting against old systems of exploitation and oppression. The shirtless and barefoot people of the land are rising up as never before. Mm -hmm. The people who sat in darkness have seen a great light. We in the West, we must support these revolutions. We are now faced with this fact, my friends, that tomorrow is today. Mm -hmm. We still have a choice today. It's either non-violent coexistence or violent co-annihilation. Mm -hmm. Now, let us begin. Now, let us rededicate ourselves to the long and bitter but beautiful struggle for a new world. Mm -hmm. And if we will only make the right choice, we will be able to transform this mm -hmm. pending cosmic elegy into a, a creative psalm of peace if we will make the right choice, we will be able to transform the, the jangling discords of our world into a beautiful symphony of brotherhood. If we will but make the right choice, we will be able to speed up the day all over America and all over the world when justice will roll down like waters and righteousness like a mighty stream. Hallelujah. Yeah.